and on to averages today. Now averages are sometimes talked about as measures of central tendency and most mostly you'll be looking at the mean here when we're doing calculations for the S1 course. Um, now that measure of cent central tendency just means what's happening around the middle of our data and what measures can we use to try and analyse that. So mean is referred to as x bar with this x and the line over the top and that's equal to the sum of x divided by n that means add up all of your x values and divide by the number of them so this is easy when we've got a list of numbers you just add them all up divide by how many you've got we can also do it from a frequency distribution we'll have a look at that now so that means finding the mean from a table of values so in this case the x bar would be the sum of all of the x values times by their frequency divided by the total sum of the frequencies. This is easier to see with an example. So here we have some year 9 students that were asked how many siblings they have where x is the number of siblings and f is the frequency. So looking at this we can see things like there were 48 students who said that they had two siblings. If we want to know how many people had uh, four siblings we'd just read off there were seven people said they had four siblings. Now if we want to find the average number of siblings or the mean number of siblings what we would do is the sum of x times f divided by the sum of f. What that really means we're doing is we are going to find our total frequency so that's the sum of the f that's how many people did we ask just add them all up and then we want to do this x times f now what's happening on that line there? We're doing 0 times 36, 1 times 94, 2 times 48, and so on. Because 36 people said they had 0, imagine that's 36 zeros lined up in a, in a row, followed by 94 people that said 1, so 94 ones in a row, and so on. So you're adding up that, that total of what would happen if we added up all those zeros, the ones, the twos, the threes, and so on. We would get a total of 284. So then we'll do 284 divided by the number of people we asked, 204, which gives our answer of 1.39 siblings. We might also get uh, the, the data presented to us in groups, classes or intervals, and we can estimate a mean from here. We can't give an exact mean because we don't know exactly what the values were within that group, um, but we can estimate it. So here are the heights of 90 children in year 6 um, and we want to estimate the mean height. So we can see that there were 7 people that were between 100 and 110 centimetres. Now we don't know the exact height of each of those 7 people but we can make an estimate of the mean by looking at the halfway point in that group and we will estimate that those 7 people were 105 centimetres. And then we'll estimate that those the next 13 people, they were 115 centimetres. So we're looking at the middle of each group each time. So we just add a little bit extra onto that table. And we're just writing down what that mid-class value is on each one. And then we're going to do the frequency times by that value. And that value, we're estimating that everybody is that value in the middle of that group. So then we get these numbers by multiplying across. And then we can apply the same thing we just did on the, the last one. So we've got a total there for the total heights of everybody. And then a total here of the frequencies tells us how many people um, were surveyed. And we need to do, for x bar, we're going to do the x times f divided by the frequency one. And we get an average of 130.7 centimetres.